Hi, this is Bobby Klein. I'm the translator and the interpreter of the I Ching. This is a new earth I Ching, easy to understand, easy to put to use. It's an oracle, 3,000 years of wisdom wrapped up in this. So sit back, take a breath. If you've got a question in your mind, ask it. If not, just hang in and you'll get some answers. And that's what this is all about. The I Ching, they say, is the book of change, and it is, but it's also the book of answers. All right. Tune in. Drop in. You're home. Yeah. You're home. Waves lap on the shore. Summer winds send a cool mist. Now I am awake. Come to reach into the oracle. Three thousand years of wisdom wrapped up into 20 minutes 20 minutes of lines three thousand years been in print I want to take a minute to reach out to my soul space members man you all have been so loyal I wouldn't know how much I love you and I know I've missed a few sessions, but we're back. Going to open up a lot of doors together. Like I said, the students become the teachers. We drew number 19 for all of us. Number 19, lean and nearing or letting go. Man, there comes a time you've got to let go. You can't hold on anymore. You know, the stuff that stopped working, you got to move beyond it. So it becomes a time to let go, right? Above, we see the center of the earth, the yin element. And below, we see the harvest, the free, unhindered soul. The wisdom says the cycle of want and waiting is ending. A powerful time is on the wing. Mm Mm-hmm. When the I Ching comes up with this, better pay attention because it is, and we can use that. You know, it's there for us to use or not use. No blame. Don't have to use it. But <clears throat> when the opportunity's there and the I Ching's talking about it, we're talking about something that's going to work, and that is the truth. watch ourselves in our recent past where we have been hiding behind a veil of non-recognition, you know, that place where your words, your feelings, your ideas, when you're not heard, you're not fully heard, you're not in that place where you're being seen and kind of it's a kind of a comfortable place sometimes to be that you can hide out and hide out is okay, but there comes a time when it's time to step up. And this is that time to step up. You were not being recognized for your gifts, not being recognized for your good intentions, and you haven't been appreciated for your insights and creativity. Well, <clears throat> that cycle is ending, you see, and the frustration has been there. To say the least, it's been frustrating, and you've been locked down. You've been misunderstood, you've been held in irons, as they say on the sea, in many ways, and now good news is here. This time of bondage is over, so use it. However, before you're fully released, you'll benefit from examining what you are hiding from and why you are in the fear of embracing your galactic goodness of greatness. Yeah. Got to pay attention to that. You know, we all have that within us, our galactic greatness, the sound bath of spirit. The sound bath of love of life, it awakens the kundalini, 
the life force of crystalline energy that rests in the sacred pool at the base of your spine. And it's from there it flows into the body's energy centers, into the chakras, into all the systems, enlivening your wholeness of really being and being present and being there. And this is the vital life force, that vital life force that connects humanity to universal spirit. And right now we can ride that wave. And you're rising upward to be released to your soul, taking on one grand collective ride on the time wave of now, the bliss wave, the wave of exaltation. That's where we're going. In relationships, in relationships, you start, strive to be present but the appreciation from lovers, friends, associates, it's been waning you know, or been void. Hidden in the shadow of your soul, not theirs. It's hidden in the shadow of your place, of your soul. As you come to that place to be open again, you can now take a deep breath. Breathe into risk and be in the stillness as the cosmic veil is lifted. And you will be seen for what and who you truly are, and that's magnificent. As you experience the reflection of your own greatness, it'll surprise even you, who have, because of intolerance, because of fear, held you back and had you hold back your best stuff because you haven't felt safe. Can you dig that? You haven't come out with it. But now is the time you're safe, and in that safety, take the risk. Things are getting better all the time. <laughs> Remember that line, huh? Things are getting better all the time. As now the veils of doubt and denial are, listing and list, are lifting. And the ancestors who should be ritually honored during this cycle are invisibly guiding you through the pathways that have been seen to be too risky or too treacherous to take. Take comfort and have no fear, no worries. You are now and you never have been alone. And that is the thing we know. We are not alone. Spirit is with us and dancing with us all the time. Positive relationships are now set to bloom. They're going to be at their brightest and their fullest as you release yourself and others from an accepted or often luxurious bondage. Listen to that. Releasing yourself and others from a luxurious bondage. Got it? Socially, your arrival is anticipated, and you'll be greeted with welcoming and with warmth. And if you're in a political situation, your ideas and your goals are heard, and the votes are now with you. Count them up. They're on your side, and have no fear of losing. For in this cycle, you cannot lose. So choose your engagements, choose your battles wisely, and move towards your own and for the greater good. And this will be nourishing, enlightening, and most satisfying. And we've been wanting to be satisfied. What we know of the oracle, the I Ching, is that it speaks and teaches of now, not the past, not the future, but now. And the broad opening in life and spirit that comes in this cycle does not last forever. So gather yourself. And if you're so moved, gather with others of like mind in your community and take advantage of this auspicious cycle because it is that. This grand season of growth is here on the inner plane as well as in commerce and in creative endeavors. Do your art. An opening appears. An opening appears. And you have an invitation to come through this awaiting cosmic portal where you join with the ancestors, with the guide, with the sage teachers of oracles, with the philosophies, and with the love without condition or barter. Don't barter love. <clears throat> Approach the sage. Approach the sage with an open mind. Approach the sage with good action, with right action, and be light of heart as you approach the sage with grace and gratitude and embrace the knowledge that is shown you. And there are times to go to the sage, and this is one. It might be your inner sage. It might be in your community. 
It might be in your studies, but reach out because this is the time when you can reach out and you will be felt and you will be seen and there's no doubt about that. Note this, the emphasis on time and timing during these times is most significant now in these days. The energy shift on the planet is happening and is within all sentient beings. It is above as it is below. Do not doubt that you're ready to take this evolutionary leap, because it is that. It would not have come if you were not prepared. The inner work that you've done is coming to fruition. Your task is to remain calm as the wave of transition and light sweeps you up and takes you higher, takes you higher. Love takes you higher. And note well that the higher you go, the higher you are, and that's the truth. This time cycle favors new or renewed relationships, new projects, <clears throat> and a new focus on health. Hey, you got a friend that you dumped a while ago? Reach back, see what's there. There might be something beautiful left as you get into this time of inner gro growth. You know, swallow your pride, make the call, send the email. In all of it, foster your passion. It is passion that connects you to the primal elemental force so necessary at this time. It is in your DNA. And you've been programmed to be activated now. <clears throat> it's all in the book. The genetic triggers that will change and enhance your life are part of this alchemical mix in the human and of human souls and will be influenced by the joyous dancing spirit that's by your side and the ancestors that have brought you to this moment in time. Accept the gift. Be in the dance, lest you miss the opportunity of the embrace of your greatness. We're all here together, no doubt about that one. Collectively, we're witnessing the ending of a great and challenging cycle on earth. The collective souls are now being shown the beginning of this long-awaited shift. If you choose it, you can ride the point zero wave of change, change to joining with the life force of Gaia of spirit, of which we are all particulates. And as she changes her vibration in harmony with the correction of the galactic order, we can take the ride and we're allowed to and we can. Consider that people can make the choice not to join the shift. Going on with business as usual, that's okay. And it's certainly a rather bland contentment it is contentment. It's kind of bland. It doesn't have the fire. doesn't have the color. A and it'll be found in that place of comfort, to be void of passion, void of the depth of love, in each individual's choice now. Know with clarity what you choose. Dignity, integrity, compassion, kindness. You know what I'm talking about. Along with these words, be of influence now because the words are there be of influence in your associations your actions and your thoughts for they speak of energies that are highly regarded long treasured universal code is coming out now as you let yourself be influenced by these times this code is the secret of the ages dignity integrity compassion and kindness that will open you to be able to let go and be one with all in unity, community, light and love. Trust that this is the way it works, and it is. Avoid actions that would have you take a muddy road and would muddy the road you're walking. Actively protect the solitude and privacy of those close to you and never doubt the universe is watching, loving, and laughing with you not at you. So y'all be the love that you desire. You love, you just be love. Be of service. A life without service is no life at all. So be there and be of service as you open yourself to this loving place, this loving heart. As I do each week, I leave you with these words. In La Kesha Lakin, 
I am the other you. And I like it that way. Yes, I do. Namaste, my brothers. Namaste, my sisters. Do not denigrate each other. Walk in love. Walk in respect. Hold hands. Make love, not war. Be in love. Be of love. Namaste, y'all. Namaste. Waves laugh on the shore. Summer winds send a cooling mist. Now I'm awake.